Hey everybody, it's Aaron Norris. It's Friday. Uh, it's September 23rd. This is episode 323. And when it comes to upgrades and big bang for the buck, what are some of the trends you're seeing that gets you a lot of money on the cheap? That and much more as we cover the biggest headlines in real estate. <music> You don't want to miss a radio show this week. We have Gary Acosta. He is the CEO of the Hispanic Real Estate Professionals Association, and he's here to talk to us about the Hispanic population in California, buying habits, demographics, simple assumptions, and much more as we prepare for I Survive Real Estate. Don't want to miss that. Builder confidence increased this month from 59 to 65 as the job market and tight inventory has builders feeling a little bit more comfortable about moving forward with projects. And just in the nick of time, because HUD and the Commerce Department reported a 5.8% decrease in housing starts. So we want them to get going. The National Association of Realtors released a list of major markets where jobs has outpaced home construction. And there's no surprise here. California has made the list and the top ones include San Diego, San Jose, and San Francisco. And of course, the article talks about affordability issues in those markets and the lack of inventory driving up prices. And we all know that's not exactly what's going on. But NAR says that while building slowed slightly in 2015, it looks positive for the year ahead. However, builders are facing new hurdles, including permit delays, higher construction uh, costs, regulatory and labor costs, and difficult finding skilled labor. So uh, if building can really ramp up in California, it would be very exciting because we haven't had that job engine in many, many years, like since 2007. Wallet Hub took the top 150 cities and ranked them by fun by looking at access to things like nightlife, outdoor space, restaurants, sporting events, and unfortunately, cost. I say unfortunately because that meant California got kicked out of the running in a lot of cases and only made two only two cities made the top 25 and that was Sacramento and San Francisco. Sacramento, I guess I was a little bit surprised about. Las Vegas won top honors and Florida had three in the top 10, including Miami, Florida, and Orlando. So Janet Yellen and the Federal Reserve decided not to increase interest rates this time around and now we're waiting to what appears like December for a new decision. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like she's got everybody on the same page. Um, notes from the session include some people thinking by 2019, nothing much will have changed, while other people think the rate's going to go all the way to 3.75%. Regardless, we'll wait till after the presidential election, um, and uh, December looks like the next date they're going to consider whether to do this or not. After reaching a 30-year low in the late 2000s, RV deliveries are up, as in way up, we haven't seen this, seen this kind of demand since the 70s. So much so, developers and home builders in Nevada, Arizona, and Florida are jumping on the chance to construct more homes that have that can house these vehicles in some way. Garages are only about 15% larger when they're building them onto the actual property, but demand a $25,000 premium. And some communities are just, you know, building little parking lots where you can rent the space. And in some communities in Florida, as they listed in the article, um, there's a waiting list. There are so many RVs. So why would investors care? Well, the article talks specifically about baby boomers perhaps steering away from second homes and veering more towards a mobile lifestyle. Um, whether it be RV or, you know, you've got so many sites like VRBO and Airbnb. So lots of opportunity and hopefully a lot more time for leisure and disposable income. So what are some of the upgrades you're seeing? I don't think in California I see a bunch of people building, RV, you know, garages that can fit RVs. But I'm interested to hear in investors and maybe realtors, what are some of the upgrades that new buyers are looking for in properties that get them very exciting, willing to pay a little bit more than what it would cost to install? If you're on YouTube, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat. If you're on Facebook, please don't forget to not only like the Norris Group page, but don't forget to add us to your C first list and with notifications on. Leave your comments below the video. And if we miss something, share the story on our comment sections on either YouTube or Facebook and we'll make sure to include it on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Okay, everybody, you have two more times to see Stay Put Cash Out or Change Sheets. It's been one of my favorite talks we've done here since the 10 years that I've been here. Uh, you've got two more times to see it. One in LA, we're doing it with Invest Club for Women and Robert Hall and Associates in Glendale. Um, that's going to be September 28th next week or October 6th. We'll be up in San Jose, our one time a year where we get up there doing Stay Put Cash Out or Change Seats with SJREI. October 8th, we're going to be doing Cashing In on a Boom. This is this is the event that we did in February that sold out, so we brought it back. And this time, it's in Irvine with Invest Club for Women. You will want to sign up before October 1st to get the special low rate. October 21st, I Survive Real Estate 2016. We are about to start creating a waiting list. We've had a few people say that they can't fill their seats, so we have a few seats, but do not wait if you plan to attend. Um, more information on that is on isurvivorealestate.com. 
November 5th, we've got the Cutting Edge Financial Tactics Brunch. We do this once a year with Keystone CPA and UDirect IRA. And this year we're bringing in 1031 Exchange Help with Bill Exeter. We're excited about bringing him on board for this. It's at the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa, which is always beautiful, um, and that's in Riverside. The next day we have our third annual VIB, VIP Subscribers Brunch, where we bring in our subscribers, we develop a day that's more casual, fun, beautiful breakfast and brunch at uh, the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa, but you gotta be a subscriber. For more information on hard money loans, including fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction, starting at just 6.9%, and by the way, we're up in Sacramento now, check out thenorrisgroup.com. Or if you want more information on passive investing with trust deeds, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.